Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikarili from Excel Basement and in this video we will be learning about two statical functions that are so I have a data of a company and uh, we have two columns years and profits and we want to find out the forecasting of 2020 profit for this particular company we have the past numbers from year 2015 till 2018 uh, rupees in billion of every year but we want to focus that how much company will earn based on the past trends how we can forecast for the next uh, after two years where will be the company standing okay so we can use the forecast function in Microsoft Excel how to use that equals to forecast so first we need to uh, let the X value to define the value of X which is the base uh, which is the future year we want to predict uh, that is 2020 in cell E9 then known Y known Y will be in this case are uh, the numbers of the profits in our data and known X will be the uh, years which which is the past years in our data from E5 to E8 we will close the bracket and we will get the forecast number for the 2020 uh, year profit that will be 19.49 billion rupees uh, based on the past trends so this is how you can uh, make a forecasting by using the forecast function in Microsoft Excel and um, if you don't want to use the forecast function you just want to add the trend line of the forecasting in the Excel chart what you can do is just select the data and uh, after selecting the data go to insert tab uh, click on the desired chart you want for example the column chart in the horizontal axis I will just add the information as years because the serial number is not relevant so I will select go to select data and uh, redefine the axis label ranges to the years now it's perfectly fine so uh, the company is showing the profits of year by year that from 2015 till 2018 how much profit they have earned but they want to predict they want to forecast the profit for the year 2020 based on the past trends so how we can do in the excel chart we will add a trend line so adding a trend line what you can do is just right click on any column bar and you will find this contextual menu uh, in this you will find an option that is called add trend line click on add, add trend line and on the right side you will be finding there are different types of trend line options available exponential linear log logarithmic pol polynomial power moving averages uh, by default it's linear and we want to forecast for the next two years so in the forecast area we will just write two in the forward field because we need to go two years forward from the now from the present and if you want to display uh, the equation of this forecasting technique so you can just check on display equation on chart which is based on the linear uh, and uh, uh, and also you can display the r square value on the chart if you want so when you close this you will find that this trend line which is showing you the forecasting right uh, uh, perfectly on the chart so uh, i just told you about that how to forecast based on the present situation but you can also use trend function as well and which will generate the same result let me show you first I need to again write down the forecast function which gives you the 19.49 and also the when you add the trend line it's also showing uh, the close number which is for 19.49 in the excel chart so now this 19.49 we have extracted from the forecast function we can also apply the trend function as well equals to trend so known y's will be the number of profits known x will be the base uh, that will be the year information and the new x will be the forecasting year which we want to uh, get the new amount and that's also shows 19.49 so now the question is that the forecast function and the trend function uh, exactly showing the same number so why we have both uh, two different functions available in Microsoft Excel that is forecast and a trend so the primary difference bit, uh, between the forecast and trend is forecast is something that predicts something for the future the expectation of the future number in terms of company growth uh, that is called the forecast whereas the trend is something that represent a particular status of something currently 
happening uh, in the in the present right so if you go for uh, some of the if you go in the google you will find a number of websites available which shows the forecast and trend uh, difference and uh, you will find that they they both generally generate the same results